IT and LeBron played just 15 games together. Why do you believe the Cavs gave up on him so quickly? Well, first off, David, let's, I want to pump the brake a second. This is an absolute home run deal for the Los Angeles Lakers. They have got to be, as soon as they get off this trade call that they're having with the NBA right now, they're going to take a victory lap. They have been trying for months to clear uh, cap space. And the Lakers just made an incredibly huge major move. They have now cleared the two max salary spots that they need for their dreams this summer of going after LeBron James. The Cavaliers have just cleared a path for the Lakers to go after Paul George and LeBron James this summer. This is an incredibly complex and dynamic trade with so many different angles to it. But the Lakers not only clear the cap space by getting rid of two guys they were supposed to pay next year, but they also get a first-round pick in the deal, which they can use to draft a young player or they can use to try to attach to Luol Deng to get off of his contract and potentially open nearly three max slots this summer. Um, so, first off, I have to just say that the, this is a major move for the Los Angeles Lakers, who just a couple of days ago were in punt formation to, put, to send it down to 2019. Now, for the Cavs, this is also a major move. The Cavs, after hedging for months and months and months, are finally saying... We are going to go in to try to keep LeBron James because they have now taken on for next season an additional $16 million in salary with Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance, and they just helped one of the major suitors for LeBron clear space for him. So, you know, you can go back and look and relitigate the Kyrie trade and say that Isaiah Thomas didn't work and everything like that, but they, at this point on trade deadline day, have finally made a decision between standing on the fence about the future and deciding that they're going to try to do something to keep LeBron James interested. If I am hearing what you're saying, Brian, I think I got this, this trade helps both teams in the LeBron James sweepstakes this summer. Absolutely. And, I mean, just the concept that the Cavs would help the Lakers clear space they, Dave, I can't, I can't articulate enough. The Lakers were desperate. They, 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 the white flag was halfway up the pole. When they were making it very clear that they were talking about 2019 free agency, talking about Jimmy Butler and, and Kyrie Irving and Klay Thompson, it was because they were handcuffed because they couldn't make a deal where they would be able to get off of salaries um, without, without using a first-round pick. They are already out their first-round pick this year. So... For them to find this type of deal with the, with the team that they're trying to poach the player from, it's a very, I mean, we're going to talk for the next couple of days about how um, Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance fit in uh, to the Cavs and what they do. And, 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 the, and I'll be talking on this network for the next part of the afternoon about how Isaiah Thomas's position in the locker room was complicating for the Cavs and that, you know, trading him out of there is going to take a step forward. That those are all relevant and important, and, 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 and the coaches are, are going to weigh in, the players are going to weigh in, but I, I can't tell you how remarkable this is about how this unlocks everything for the Lakers uh, of where they're going forward. And to also get the first-round pick in the deal, uh, they now have, you know, I don't know if they're going to be able to flip uh, Luol Dang today, but with this pick, they may be able to revisit that into June. Okay, uh... Let's go through this here. If they could land a couple max guys, you put LeBron. We've heard that he needs to have at least one good star with him with the Lakers. If Paul George is smitten now with OKC, who is that guy? Well, the market is a little bit shallow, and and one of the things that the, one of the reasons I think why the Lakers were willing to move on to 2019 is because Demarcus Cousins got hurt because Paul George has been batting his eyes at the Thunder, and maybe that's what's going to happen. And, and just because this opened up today doesn't mean the Lakers are going to be able to get LeBron and Paul George. They may still have to kick the ball down the field to 2019. But now the Los Angeles Lakers have everything that they dreamed of. They have the two max slots. And there's something else that i got to point out. Remember, you don't have to just use salary cap space on signing players. You can use salary cap space to take in players. And the Lakers now have the ability to trade for anybody in the entire league. And they have another asset in this first-round pick that they can use it. The Lakers' outlook has completely changed in the last 20 minutes. Um, the hard part is actually getting the players. But they have overcleared a hurdle that it, it, until yesterday looked like it was too high. And the fact that the Cavs 
would 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 be their would be their partner in getting there to me indicates that they feel like they have a good chance of keeping LeBron um, because otherwise you thought they had some egg on their face with the Kyrie Irving trade. Can you imagine if LeBron walks to, to, to the Lakers this summer because the Cavs gave them the key to unlock the door? <laughs>